What's up guys, welcome to the video. So today I'm gonna take you through the leg workout that I do when I'm cutting. The first exercise I'm gonna start off with is hack squats. That's been my go-to leg exercise lately. I used to do barbell squats quite a bit, but I'm almost 34 years old and I'm doing Stairmaster five to six times a week. So my legs are definitely taking a beating and I don't really feel like loading up a bunch of weight on the, the barbell squats and doing that two times a week. So I've just been going with hack squats. I feel like I get a lot more tension on the quads as well and I have a bit more stability. I feel like overall it's gonna help my leg growth out quite a bit. The second exercise I did was a barbell Romanian deadlift, which is one of my go-to exercises for hamstrings. The most important thing right here is to make sure that you're shooting your hips back. I know it can be really tempting to like almost want to do a squat when you're doing these, but instead of lowering from your knees, you want to keep your knees somewhat locked into place. I bend them just a little bit and then I'm really focused on letting my hips drive back. Like if you guys ever seen the movie Legally Blonde, you want to think of like the bend and snap almost. After that, I did my favorite exercise, the Bulgarian split squats, which is a great one for developing the quads. The most important thing here is to make sure that your torso, your upper body is leaning forward slightly. If you're too upright, you're not gonna get very much depth and it's not gonna activate the quads very well. You're not gonna get too much of a stretch in your quads, but by leaning forward slightly, you're gonna get more of a stretch in your quads and it's gonna lead to more muscle development. calves I did a Smith machine calf raise here I'm trying to focus on getting a deep stretch at the bottom and then at the top I'm gonna extend through my big toe so I'm gonna push up onto my big toe and that's gonna give me a full contraction at the top of the movement so I'm really focused on working my calves through a full range of motion getting a deep stretch and then a full contraction and I like to go to about 12 to 15 reps per set and I'm really pushing to get pretty close to failure on each set Here I'm doing a machine leg extension. What I'm trying to do is hold it for one second at the peak contraction. So at the very top of the movement, I'm gonna hold it for one second, squeeze my quads as much as I can, and then control it on the way down. So I'm always trying to control the weight, never let it control me. And then what I'm gonna do is once I can't do any more full reps, I'm actually gonna hit a few partials from the bottom portion of the movement where the quads are more in a stretch position. That's gonna to lead to more muscle growth. After that, then I did a lying leg curl. Also here, I'm trying to hold it at the peak contraction as well and then control it on the way down. That's really a theme throughout my workouts is being in control, having good form, and working each muscle through a full range of motion. Hope you guys enjoyed that leg workout. I know the last video that I did was chest and biceps. I wouldn't normally go in this order, chest, biceps, then legs. What I normally do is chest, biceps, then triceps, back, and then legs. I went a little bit out of order. If you wanna see a breakdown of my full workout split, click right here to watch this video. So the next video is actually gonna be the triceps and back workout, and then we're gonna do an abs workout as well. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, that way you don't miss those videos. Thanks again for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.